All right, welcome everybody. If you are just joining us on the morning team call, we have about 59 participants right now. I'm your host, Avi Kaushik, and we have a phenomenal speaker for you here today, and that is none other than Michael Huggins. Now, before getting started with Renatus, Michael was drowning in student debt. He, had, he was making his monthly payments, he, but he realized you know, he was mostly making payments towards interest and not being able to pay down his principal, and he knew he'd never be able to pay it off. He was working two low-wage jobs and felt like a dog in a cage and had to find a way out. And you know, around this time, he started looking into some other income-generating oppor um, you know, opportunities and activities. After a few failed attempts, he finally found Renatus, just like a lot of us did. And initially, his girlfriend said, no, I don't want you to do this. You've already tried doing things like this, and I don't think this is going to work out. But as we all know, his girlfriend at the time, who is now his wife, Vanessa, ended up becoming one of his strongest supporters. And now we fast forward about eight years. You know, he became 100% committed, plugged into the system. And today, Michael is a seven-figure income earner. He's grown his team nationally, and he is the number one income earner at Renatus as it stands. And we are fortunate to have him share his lessons that he's learned along the way. So without further ado, I'd like to bring up our speaker on the line, Mr. Michael Huggins. Hey, Michael, how are you today? I'm doing fantastic. Good morning, everybody. Thank you very much for the lovely introduction, and uh, let's jump right into it. Welcome, everyone. It is Money Monday, and it is time to get started. Now, what a powerful video that was with the, uh, the Money Matrix, watching that lady just go through her own challenges, but then see her come out on top. Man, that is inspiring. So what are you going to do? What challenges are you going through to make sure you come out on top? Right? What do you think that lady would have done if someone had mentioned, hey, you need to go to nationals? You should be like, oh, no, I'm in $90,000 in debt. I don't know if I can go to nationals. No. She wouldn't do that. But I hear a lot of people say, well, I already spent $20,000. I think I'm going to wait till I make some money before I go to nationals. But at National is where we're going to give you even more tools, more systems, more processes, more people, more connections, more resources, more ideas. And what do you need? You, you turn all that into money. So you have some people who have some backwards thinking, and they need your help. They don't understand that their thinking is keeping them trapped. They think they're being smart. They think they're being wise. They think they're being risk adverse. They think they're being safe by waiting to make more money before they spend a couple hundred dollars. But they're going to set themselves back a year or more. I mean, when you're unplugged, you're out of the loop. You got to make up in, in time what you lack in skill and investment. So. All these people are in a hurry to make money, but they won't come to nationals. That's kind of silly to me. So let's help them out. Let's get them, let's get their mind rearranged so they can see a better version of their life. Good morning, Dennis. Okay. I want to show you something real quick, real quick. Let me just pull up the site here, share. Okay, thanks for making that cool slide, Abby. Okay, share. All right, cool. We got some more people jumping on the line. So good morning to all of you who are just joining us. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder where I got that tie. Okay, so I'm logging in. Now, when we're looking at putting our schedule together and prioritizing our activities um, I have like 10 conversations going on in my head right now as I'm looking at different names on the list here thinking man I want to say this to this person and this to this person and get them to come to the nationals but 
like at the end of the day, what is what's the underlying denominator? What's the same for everybody? Why they're delayed? Um, okay, take a look at this. In order to get a nice healthy bonus, I want to show you something. So, oh, it's pending. History, here we go. Okay, so the beginning of every month, so there's March 1st, there's February 1st. Uh, we can go back one and we can look at December 1st and January 1st. Okay, all these big old checks here. They are the pack bonus. So 29,000. So I got some overrides, right? Mitch made some sales, Edison made some sales, Laura made some sales, Nate made some sales, Tom made some sales, Nate made more sales, Mitch Nelson made more sales, hey, I made a sale. Richie made some sales, so I'm getting all these overrides, overrides, overrides. Dayton Clark made some sales, Randy Nelson made some sales, Tony Shaw made some sales, Josh Seitz. So I get all these overrides, okay? Then we got some people in the business builder, great. But what about this check right here? This $19,000 $19, check. This just, 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 just one check, one check, one for one month. I got this. This bonus pool. Now we only get this if you're a PAC member. Uh, PAC stands for President's Advisory Council. Now there's a council team that advises the president. That's what we do. So why would he want your advice? Well, you would need a, a team that has activity and things going on in order to give him advice on how he can help you run your team better. Uh, if you don't have a big old team, what the hell, what, 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 what's the advice for? There's no advice, he doesn't need your advice. If you don't run a team, right? So then why would he give you a bonus? So, this, this is incredible. Some of you are going to shoot yourself in the foot when it comes time to qualifying for a pack bonus because you think that you're too new for it to matter or that uh, not coming to nationals isn't your main focus. You want to do real estate. But I'm telling you, marketing helps your real estate and real estate helps your marketing. It's doing both. Bob Snyder's the genius that came up with it. So I'm partly talking to you guys on the line, but I'm mostly talking to the people you know that aren't on the line. So I'm talking through you. You need to go and share these words and ideas and messages to get the people who you know, we can help them if they attend, they just gotta attend. It takes about two years of production to become a PAC member. Okay, you become a pit team member first by making more than $75,000 in a year and then working on this team. PIT stands for pack and training. PIT, pack and training. And you're on the pit for a year. So we got people like Dane Clark, Ryan Black, Ryan Laura Black, uh, Wanda Carasquillo. Uh, we got a bunch of people on the pit team that are looking to become pack. So if they stick to their numbers and they work their butts off, um, you know, Christian Sadler is also on the pit team. When uh, when they become pack, they get an extra bonus from Bob Snyder. So you think about this. What's 19,000 times 12? Now, some big bonuses are bigger, some are less, but, you know, my average bonus is about 20 grand. What's that for the year? Bob Snyder wants more PAC members. Bob Snyder wants more people to help more people. Right? That's, that's the whole point of this position is you are helping. You're the intermediate between the company and the field, and he needs more of those people. Um, and as he is looking at who qualifies for promotion and this, this bonus that he's so generous with, he looks at the attendance history. Did this person, since they've been involved, come to all the nationals? 
if this person, since they were involved, come to um, their regionals in their area or the leaders retreat if, once they were five star. So they're going to look at that stuff. Now, if you've been in the company for a couple of years and you haven't been to a nationals, is there any wonder why you're not making the money you want to be making, doing what you want to do? It's because there's something about the extra level belief when it comes to putting energy and effort inside your business. That extra level of belief is, is it's, uh, it's 1% extra, but it's 100% in the difference it makes. So since I've been hanging out in Renatus, I've made more than $2,214,000. <laughs> Now this I'm I'm sharing it with you to inspire you because this is this is this is plenty for everybody, right? Like if you go and make a couple more million dollars, it has it's not gonna take away from me, it's gonna add to what we're doing. So there's this decision making time for you and the people on your team, because again, you're here, but you might know 15 or 30 or hundred more people that aren't here. So you need to go share with them. Bob Snyder's looking to promote more people. We want to have a giant national footprint for what we're doing and who we're helping, who we're serving. If you miss a nationals, the chances of you getting onto PAC go way down. So find, find that 400 bucks, find that time off, Make it happen, and you'll see your life change. But some of you aren't willing to make make someone uh, you're you're unwilling to disappoint people. Therefore, you will be a disappointment. So you're either going to disappoint your job, you're going to disappoint uh, yourself, you're going to disappoint your coworker, you're going to disappoint somebody. Or you're going to disappoint your, your teammates. You're going to disappoint your family members because you said you're going to do something and you didn't. Right? So it's either way, you're going to disappoint somebody. Some of you are not making decisions because you think that uh, if you don't, then you won't disappoint someone. But you got to get over that. If you miss nationals, you disappoint me. If you, uh, if you are scheduled at work and you tell them, no, I'm not coming in this week. You'll disappoint them. No matter what, you're going to disappoint somebody. Get over it. It's not about disappointing people. It's about following through with what you decided. Uh, yeah, Anthony is probably one of the few people in the entire nation, Renatus National, Renatus Nation, that has a valid excuse for missing it. Okay. The guy is stuck in Ireland, and they won't give him a visa to get to America. That is so different than the rest of you saying, oh, my boss won't let me. Screw your boss. Who's not in charge? He doesn't own you or she, right? But if, you're, if, a, if a federal government is preventing you from attending, fine, you have a pass. We won't judge you on that. But if you're stopping yourself or you're letting your boss stop you, Right, some of you are like, well, if I go, I'll get fired. Well, good. Isn't that what you want? Well, I want my business to make a lot of money. Well, yeah, but if I keep going to my job, blah 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 blah. blah. You guys are stuck in a loop. You got to fix it. And it's mostly not you on the line. It's the people you know that are missing the call that you need to share these ideas and help them get over that initial hurdle themselves. Help them. Just got to help them. Huh. Interesting idea. Yep. Uh, 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 uh. You didn't type what? Okay. So, um, Bonus, guys. I'm telling you. 
What would you do with a $14,300 bonus every month? It just comes in. So you got to have a better plan, right? Like if you, if you stick with your job for another year or two and you don't go to nationals, are you going to qualify for some type of bonus like this at your job? I doubt it. Oh, those. Tori's Noreen, just so you know, when you log in, there's a setting button on the Zoom app where you can, upon opening the app, your phone is muted and the count and the camera is off. You just change your setting and we don't have to interrupt when you're late. Okay. Right, like some people are like, ah, oh, I can't. They won't give me time off work. What do you need your job for? For money. Okay. Well, what are you doing here, Renatus? Making money. Okay. Which one do you want to have provide for your family long term, Renatus? Okay. So why are you acting like you still need your job? All right. Whatever you put your energy into, that's what's going to produce for you. So we want to we want to help people get over their hurdles and their their contradictions. And yeah, now that I'm, I'm re being reminded by Anthony, his first nationals that he came to, he also sold his first combo. Right, he put an ad out there. He had him meet him uh, in Salt Lake City. He had him come to nationals. He signed him up. This is incredible stuff, guys. So it's not just a training. If you do the steps on your way to nationals, how many people do you talk to? on the plane, at the airport, at the car rental place, at the hotel, at the grocery store, at the lunch place, at, at the, you know, you stopped at the department store because you forgot some socks. Everywhere you go, you could be talking to people and converting it into money. And your trip pays for itself and pays you. You got to be thinking, how do you think I would approach this or Scott would approach this or Nancy would approach this? We would be thinking, how can I make money and do this? Not just how can I spend money. It's about making money too. <clears throat> so some people, I'm going to attempt to draw what's going on in my head here. So some people are looking at their dreams, big old fluffy dreams in the sky. And they go, man, I really want that. And then there's this boring over th thing over here called the job. And they go, ah, I don't really want that, but it's necessary. Well, both of these uh, produce financial support, right? The job and the dreams both have financial support for your life. But they're two different worlds. So... The, the dreams, see, I, I guess maybe I'm crazy in that I believe my dreams. I believed, or I still believe, that I'm going to get what I dream about. So maybe a lot of the people on our teams are sticking to their jobs because they, their belief is only to the level of getting a job. Their belief isn't to the level of their dreams. So how do, we, how do we transfer belief? Well, part of it is testimonials. So if you're not sure about nationals, you go watch a, a couple testimonial videos and get it done. Of course you need to be there. But what, what um, but we're on a mission too. Like part of, part of the way to achieve your dream is you got to adopt a mission. And Zig Ziglar said it best. Zig Ziglar said it best. He said, if you help enough people get what they want, you can have everything that you want. So too many people are focused on their dreams 
and like they just put their focus on the dream. Okay, that's one way of doing it. But if you put your focus on the mission, and the mission is to help other people achieve their dreams, then by default, you get your dream. So all of you have a dream, and all of you have a team member who has a dream that is unfulfilled. Unfulfilled dreams, unfulfilled desires, unfulfilled passions. So if you adopt the mission of helping people achieve their dreams, then you will get yours. But too many of you are going, well, I don't get my dream yet, so I better, I better, be, I better play it safe. I better stay home. I better not try too hard. I don't have my dream yet. I don't want to screw it up. But by that thinking, you inherently screw it up. So let's go help enough people get what they want. That way we can have everything we want. And what they want is a secure way to make money for their family. Okay, well, let's get to nationals. I'll show you the investment that Bob's made in these systems and processes and programs for us to make even more money. You guys, we're about to unleash the beast and hit a hundred million dollars a year. How can you sit home? How can you sit home? So um, what I would recommend is you guys go through your organization list and start inviting people Personally, not just a text anymore, but calling them and saying, all right, where are you? So here's, here's how I would do it. Let me switch back over here. Or not here's how I would do it. Here's how I am doing it. I spend a couple hours a week. I got my little note app. And I'm going down. I'm saying, all right, who's, who's already checked in? And like, who's, who's, uh, who's already got it? I'll even show you. Let me pull up my, uh, my screen list here. It's not complete. Don't judge me. Uh, this will be awesome. Some of you will see your names on here. Okay, so you guys remember the premise. If you help enough people get what they want, you can have everything you want. All right, share, there we go, boom, boom. Okay, so here's my little list for my notes. Can you guys see it? So I put all right, my direct sales in 2018, and who are my roll of direct sales from 2018? Who's coming to nationals? Who have I not talked to yet? Who am I still playing tag with? These are just my directs. I'm making sure my team's in, and then each one, of, each one of my own team members that has their own team, they've got their own little list and their own little exercises they're going through. So all, all, I, all I did was I just went to, well, there's two ways to go about it. So right now, the easy way is click on people then go to my organization. And then you got your IMA list here, your essentials list here, and your AIT list here. So I first went down to my direct IMAs. These are my just directs. Okay, so I started calling all them. Who's got their ticket? You got your ticket, you got your ticket, you got your ticket. Good, 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 good. Just going down my list. But guess what? You have a lot of people, or maybe, I don't know, I did. I had people who have an essentials but aren't an IMA. So I had to go down this list too, right? Emily was not an IMA. Kosh is not an IMA. Brad's not an IMA. So I got to go down the list this list and start calling them too. So it's just, it's just, you got to be able to go home at the end of the day and say, I did my best. I called my team. I let them know. I gave this guy a hundred bucks so he could have some gas to be there. I bought this person's ticket. They're going to pay me back off their first sale. Like I made sure my team got there. Are you actually doing that? Or are you just hoping that your team is going to get there? Nice. Sandra reminds us that it's decisions, not conditions. If you make a decision, you can have what you want. Don't look around at the condition and go, what was me? Look at this poor condition I'm in. All right, we want to change your condition. You better get to nationals. All right.
just uh, topping my coffee off here. I just got this new kind of honey. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but honey is uh, one molecule away from the same structure as human blood. So the more honey you eat throughout the day, except if you're, you know, diabetic, um, honey is really, really good for you. And if you're diabetic, you know what to do. Okay, um, honey. It's also good for weight loss if you eat it with uh, hot water instead of cold water. Fun facts. And how many more fun facts will you get if you attend nationals? You will only know if you show up. Okay, so I look at this more of we're here to tell people how to be a better person, not necessarily just listen to if it's convenient for them to join. It's not about convenience. Are any of these videos we watch on the Money Matrix about convenience? No, of course not. It's about decisions, about making it happen. And you have the life of convenience after you build a business. Some of you have it so backwards, you think because you started a business, where's my life of convenience? <laughs> Doesn't work like that comes after, after, after making everyone else's life better. Then you get, then you get it. Garrett talked about that too with the wealth acceleration class, right? Relationship capital and mental capital. So what do you think Garrett would say? If we're like, hey Garrett, uh, there's a bunch of people who want to become successful entrepreneurs. Bob Snyder's hosting this nationals. Do you think they should go? What do you think he would say? I think he would say, no shit, Sherlock, you better get to nationals. And you better tell Bob, sorry for not getting my ticket the first week. <laughs> this is, this is going to be such a year for a lot of you. Right? You've been, some of you have been digging in the trenches for a year or two Building, building, building with not much to show for it yet. Well, this is the year all that starts popping out. But for some of you, just because the timing of you joining the company, maybe it was last week, last month, you get the benefits of all of our hard work for the last couple of years. This is incredible stuff. You just got to get to work, show us you appreciate the hard work by just enrolling more people, spreading the word, changing people's lives. We got a mission, an important mission. And we got a new venue too. That's right. We're, we're in like basically the heart of, of Utah. It's just like right in the middle of Salt Lake County, Salt Lake Valley, there's this big old city called Sandy. It's, it's an awesome spot. There's a ton of people. You guys can be recruiting while you're at Nationals. I'm telling you. Chuck, this is his first Nationals. Woohoo! We're going to make it happen. Be incredible. All right. We want to be known for adding value. We want to be known for being the, the source of information. So you're going to have to change your reputation with some people in your world because if they don't know what you're good at, what you offer, how are they going to ask you for help? So here's one thing I recommend. You need to be... Your reputation needs to be the hub of information. So some of the most life-changing and impactful information we offer is on the tax and legal classes. And we're out here trying to change people's lives. So you got to come into Helios. Come into education. Click on the course library. And then in this search bar, just type in Mark. There'll be three classes that come up. Boom, boom, boom. The 2019 Tax and Legal Update. You guys have to watch this. Not only do you have to watch it, you have to watch it with some of your guests. You should go over to their house or do a screen share, get one of these Zoom accounts and share. Uh, Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I shared these five chapters. 
So it comes out to 15, 25, about 35 minutes. And it goes from the business taxes and the changes to the payroll to escort questions and then auto deductions. And it just goes and shows everyone, hey, you need this if you want the benefits. You need a business. And then it's like he identifies Renatus like crazy in there and gets people to want to buy. At the same time, now you, these people in your world are like, you have access to this kind of information? It's incredible. So you can get uh, a Zoom account for free, which is really cool, okay? And you gotta follow a couple rules. Let me give you a few rules about this. This is not something where you can just set up your laptop, put it on autoplay, and walk away for a couple hours and let someone else watch hours and hours and hours of your back office. You are not allowed to do that. That's not what I'm saying here. What I'm saying is you are replicating a follow-up, right? When people come to our office, we play a half hour of tax and legal for them to see and take a, a sample of education. So that's all you're doing. You are sampling, you're not giving a class. Samples. And if they realize tax and legal is not for them, give them a sample of seller finance notes or multifamily. But it's all about samples, okay? You're, you are not hosting these uh, online intensives without any sort of, um, there's gotta be some restrictions on how much you can share. I mean, it's in your IMA agreement, you're not allowed to do that. So, but we do need to get people this taste test. So Zoom, okay, if you sign up for Zoom, you can get a free Zoom account. Check this out, plans and pricing, a free Zoom account. Get the basic one, it's free. You can hold up to 100 people. Yeah, here's what's nice about it. It's a 40 minute limit. So you, you, you start the webinar, you say, all right, we got about a half hour before this thing self-destructs. So what do you wanna watch? And then you can hook them up with that information. And then you say, look, I'm limited, not only by uh, my account here, but I'm also limited by my agreement with the company. If they want more, you tell them, I don't gonna give you more, you buy it if you want more. But really, don't talk about what the company's stopping you from doing, it's more what the company's helping you do, okay? So don't emphasize, oh, we only have 40 minutes because of the company. Say, I only have 40 minutes because uh, this is such life-changing info, you just need to buy it and watch it on your own time. Okay, then you get the video conferencing features, all web conferencing features. <coughs> get excited about webinars, you gotta start sneezing. Salud. <laughs> Thank you. So, that's, this could be another way for you to get, um, get people to attend nationals. You can say, look, get on a Zoom, set up a free Zoom account, Show them some of the tax and legal updates from Mark Kohler's class here in Helios and say, look, I can introduce you to him. You need to come to nationals. He's going to be there. I can, I can hook you up. Okay. So then just sit back, play these few, stay at your computer, you know, um, check in with them, unmute it. Hey, are you following? Are you taking notes? They're going to say, this is incredible stuff. Add more value, guys. The reason why you're not making money is because you're not adding value. You're not adding value, so you don't get any money. You don't get any money because you're not adding value. If you add more value, you get more money. Well, how can we add more value? Compliant way and sharing information. The more information you share, the more valuable you become, the more money you get. If you don't share information, you don't get in people's faces, you're not that valuable, you don't get any money. You don't have any money, you're not gonna make a big impact on the world. You don't make a big impact in the world, you die of failure. So sell more Renatus. <laughs> oh, that's a little extreme, but also logical. I follow the logic path to that. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. So to confirm, Jeremy, I, I, I love how you're constantly confirming and make sure you got the right information because I know you're going to go out there and crush it following these instructions. So yes, tax and legal chapters five through nine, I found have made the most curiosity for people to want what we have. Pretty awesome, guys. That's the major key. You nailed it. Cool. So let me ask you guys this. When you uh, do your planning, you know, once, once a month or so, you're supposed to look at your calendar, do your planning, make sure you want to repeat last month, this month, do all your planning, right? Well, in, in your planning, I would like you to create a section called reputation. Okay, because it's different than character. It's, there's quite a big difference from reputation and character. Character is what's on the inside. Reputation is what's on the outside. And the reputation works for you, shows up for you. That's on the outside, and our character is on the inside. So it's hard for people to see our character, but they definitely can see our reputation. So here's a question for you then. Are you designing your reputation? Or are you just letting it happen by default? Right, we talk a lot about default versus design. So are you designing your reputation? And how would we design a reputation? Well, it's a simple exercise that I went through. Uh, you could do up to 100, just start with 10 though, 10 points. 10 points, okay, and you just don't get up from your desk until you've written down your 10 points. And the question is, what do I want to be known for? What do I want to be known for? What do I want to be known for? And then just start describing what you want to be known for and you need to build up a reputation. And if you start focusing on your reputation and these are all your decisions, your ideas, then when it comes time to do something, if that little resistance voice in your head says, oh, uh, sleep in or Go do the laundry instead. And that little voice tells you to do something different. You say, uh, 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 I have a reputation to uphold. And it's so easy to fight resistance. You can fight resistance with a reputation. Okay, that little resistance is, oh, don't, 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 don't worry about talking to that person. Don't worry about getting up early or staying up late or doing these things. That little voice tries to talk you out of so much stuff. It's the one that's talking people out of nationals. No, you don't need to go to nationals. Well, what do you want your reputation to be? That's just resistance. So you can use resistance for your reputation. Resistance could be a, a guiding point. But where you feel the most resistance is what you should be doing the most. So what do you want to be known for? I want to be known for adding value. I want to be known for being honest. I want to be known for being a, a hard worker. I want to know, be known for being on time. I want to be known for being consistent, right? I don't miss these meetings because I have a reputation. Uh, I want to be known for creativity. I want to be known for being fearless. And try new things. I want to be known for being productive, right? That's why I, I wanted to win the London contest, not because I want to go to London. I was there last year, spent two and a half weeks there. So I, but my reputation, I need to be known as being productive and consistent. So I won simply to maintain the reputation, not because I wanted the money or the trip, but for my reputation. So my reputation 
because I built it, it was my idea, it can feed or it feeds me, it gives me more energy, it gives me more reasons, it gives me more stamina, it gives me more creativity. Like my creativity feeds my creativity. I want to win, to maintain my reputation. So that's the next question is, what is your reputation right now? What are you known for? Because you got to fix that. It's time to design a new rep reputation. You got to design it. What do you want to be known for? Get to work on that stuff. Start being those things. I want to be known as a leader. Well, a leader can't just say, go to nationals and not be there. Right? A leader can't just say, hey, call your warm market and then not call their warm market. Right? So I'm, I'm doing everything I'm telling you guys to do. So I want to be known as a leader. So this is an exercise I recommend you get with your business partner or your spouse, even if your spouse is not involved in Renatus. Like they don't care at all. It's fine. But you should still get, sit down with them and say, honey, let's create a reputation. I want to design my reputation and I'd like your input. What do I want to be known for? Here's some of my ideas. What are, what are your ideas? And do this exercise and build your reputation more than it's ever been. Then people will bring you deals. People will have this new association of you as the real estate person or you as the marketing person or you as the financial person. So get with it, get on it. Keely says she loves this. Awesome. If you're not having fun working Renatus, you missed something, you're not doing it right. This is supposed to be a ton of fun. So um, if you're not having fun, let's talk about it. We can talk about it on this call or you guys can call and text me later. Um, but you gotta have fun with this too. And if you have more fun, you'll make more money. If you make more money, you'll have even more fun and it's a cycle that feeds itself. Okay, Rocky's got a question. Uh, I can't seem to find my IMA agreement in my email. Is there a copy in the business center? Or I mean, yes. Yes, there is my friend. Um, so right now in the business center, if you just go to the, um, corporate documents. So you go to secure my Renatus. Yes. Log in. And then you're going to go to the communication tab. Communication tab. And then you're going to go to corporate documents. Inside corporate documents, there it is. Your IMA guide, compensation plan, statement of average earnings, the self-analysis presentation, and the testimonial guideline. Yep, you got it. All right, cool. LaShawn says, how often do you review notes you've written down? Well, before I took a class on notes, the answer was never. Um, it, it wasn't until about a year in t inside Renatus I took a course called Mega Memory. And, um, and it, it was a, a training inside of that called Your Wish is Your Command. And that's when he talked about the difference between the wealthy and the ultra wealthy, right? Like I love that course because he, he didn't talk about going from average to rich or going from, you know, poor to average to rich. He went from wherever the hell you are, we're going to super wealthy. Okay. And, and what he showed in there was the super wealthy constantly review their notes and they have a system for note reviewing. So when they take their notes, within 24 hours, they review their notes. Within 24 hours, they review their notes. And then within 30 days, they review their notes again. So they take notes, 24 hour review, and then a 30 day review. Um, it's called Mega Memory. Mega Memory. And, um, and they realize that because of their note reviewing habits, they could build on better and better ideas. And so they just became super wealthy much faster because of that habit. So get in the habit. 
within 24 hours. If you went to a workshop on Saturday and you filled up a notebook on Sunday, reread every single thing you wrote. And then when we go to nationals, you're gonna have three days. You know, the next day or two when you get home on the plane, don't sleep, be reviewing, get that stuff in your head, sleep when you get home. Review, review, review. Constantly reviewing, LaShawn. It's a major key to your better future. Major. Yeah, that mega memory class has been awesome. It helps me with my presentations. I can do a two hour presentation without notes, right? And punchlines and everything. It's, it's a presentation, not just a conversation. Cool. Thanks for plugging in, Rocky. Okay, so I'll just uh, quickly remind you guys that when you are successful in the things that you are doing, it would be awesome if you let corporate know. Let them know for a couple reasons. So remember if you do deals and business type stuff, you submit that, send it over uh, one, one paragraph on the deal itself, one paragraph on you, and several high resolution photos. Okay, send that little packet in an email over to customer service at myrenatus.com and we will add you and your deal to a funnel. We'll make a promo flyer and some other cool stuff and we'll promote your deal. So get your deals out there, customer service at myronatus.com. It's gonna be awesome. Then, um, and announce this at your Super Saturdays, at your team trainings, all that stuff too, make sure they know. And then the other thing is for birthdays, and celebrations and anniversaries, all that, all the extra fun stuff. Um, you know, people getting married, right? So we just had a we just had a marriage here in Denver on Saturday. Two people got married. So um, so what they could do is they could email. Um, you can send it. So the email address here is renatuscares at myrenatus.com. Right? So not just birthdays, but also births. Right? If you just had a kid, Renatus cares. Let them know. Right? These are these are these are new things that we are going to be adding um, to show that we're having a big impact on people. And uh, another way to promote it, because some people don't care that much about money, they want to have an impact. And so if we can show a track record of impact, that'll also help. So train your teams on this. Let's get a good way. I mean, technically, Renata should be hearing from us every day in these categories. We're closing deals, you know, where we're, um, birthdays are happening, births are happening, marriages are happening. Let's, let's, let's keep everyone in the loop, because it's about our community, too, not just about making money. Cool. Um, <laughs> uh, Jeremy, I got it from going through EMT or ATM with Richard Stock all those years ago. Okay, LaShawn says, I'm leaving Utah on Monday. What could my family and I do on Sunday? Well, depending on the weather, I know some people have made a tradition of going skiing going to our snowboarding, one of the best spots on the planet to do that is Utah. And so they'll be um, up there playing in the snow uh, or even just a hike. For sure, we're doing some hikes, getting up into the mountains. It is like none other. These Rocky Mountains here in Salt Lake City is incredible. We're five minutes away from a hike, literally. Like five minutes behind the Expo Center, we can be in the mountains. Mountains and big, huge Metropolis at the same time. It's incredible. Sledding. <laughs> that's right. 
Um, because skiing is scary. I'll go sledding. I'll jump a sled. <laughs> um, I know a lot of people are going to be doing brunches too. They'll be sleeping in a little bit Sunday and then doing like a brunch and a movie. Um, for those people who are just want to just chill in some pajamas. But then other people want to get outdoors. So there'll be all kinds of activities for you to do. Remember, check-in is Wednesday from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. So get there early, get checked in, and then make your plans uh, for Sunday at check-in with other people. Um, so you can start telling them throughout the weekend and get people more involved. You guys are awesome. Thanks for being here. It, it's, uh, we're right on the, the, the precipice of something huge that's happening. So stay focused. Stay with us. We got your back. You just need to keep doing what you do. Hey, Michael, can I throw something in real quick? Go for it, Jeremy. What's up? Hey, brother. I just found out there was a lot of people that registered for the Superheroes and Villains Party on the Facebook page, but they did not register in the Utah calendar. Ah. And if they want to be at the Heroes and Villains thing, it has to be, I think they have to register by midnight tonight. But they have to, and then pay their 20 bucks on the Utah calendar, not on Facebook. So, uh, however, I figured this might be a good way to get the word out for a few of those folks that may not know that. Yeah, that's a, a good point there. Guys, we're doing a big old family celebration wrap-up party Saturday night. Uh, there's going to be a cost involved. I mean, they're doing drinks and food and snacks and stuff also. Uh, but there's no need for Nancy to take the cost on herself. So we're all pitching in 20 bucks. So if you would just come into the Utah calendar, click on the 30th here, Click on this and then register yourself for that. That way, um, look at this. Choose a side. Everyone loves to be a hero, but certainly uh, people playing the bad. Come dress as your favorite alter ego or is or good or evil. Go big. Anything goes. Here's the deal. This year will be our biggest rap party yet. Uh, we're expecting over 1,000 people to attend, and the Expo Center needs a headcount to cover the room rental, food, and beverage minimum required. So we're going to have food and drinks. So it's not just like you're paying for the party, but you're paying for food and drink. Uh, there will be some light snacks. There will be a cash bar. Early bird is $20 per person. So please invite all the people you know. Make sure to register ASAP. So you don't want to miss this. So Vanessa and I, we got our tickets. We're already registered to go. So be responsible, get registered, and participate. All right, I got to hop on the pack call. You guys are awesome. Stay focused. Um, Ali, I'll get you the schedule next time or review last week's. Recording, I also have the schedule in there. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Bye bye. Thanks, man. Appreciate you.